Okay, so you stopped in this video for a reason. You want to know how to make the custom balls. I'm going to show you how I, Lola, make my custom basketballs. Obviously, you're going to start with the basketball first. Don't get this one, though. This one caused me some problems, but I learned how to work around it. Go ahead and print out your template design on heat transfer paper. If you don't already have a design, you can go to the link below. Go to my Etsy shop and you can order one. I'll design one for you. Okay, so this material is scratchy, but still be very careful and go really slow with peeling off the design from the white part of the paper. Once you peel it all off, it should look something like this. This is another design I also made. I was just going ahead using the heat gun to lay down this design. But once you do the heat gun, it should look something like this. Okay, let me take a step back. Okay, so a long time ago, I really like all my life. I just been like overly expressive and creative. So I started these social media pages to, you know, expand my creativity and expose my ideas to the world to build a, you know, community who like to do things that I like to do. So this guy came along. He was like, hey, man, you look really creative. And I saw your work and stuff online. I think you can help brother out. Trying to make something for my kid. And that kind of started my first ball, but this wasn't a bad ball, and I've also perfected it since then. Okay, yes, I did go too far back, but at least you guys know where it all began. So you're going to need these supplies. You're going to need a basketball. You're going to need the heat gun. You're going to need heat transfer paper, and you're going to need this basketball template. You can put your design inside the template, and you're going to print it out, and you're going to cut it into that shape. So I don't want to tell y'all what size to get because your ball ain't going to be my ball. You have to measure your own ball so you know what size to print your template out in. Okay, so what I'm holding in my hand right now, this is actually glitter heat transfer vinyl i'm also going to be using this with the ball as well so what i'm doing after i've already cut it out into the shape that i want it in i'm making sure that it's going to fit around my ball okay so this is a close-up view of what i'm doing so i'm taking the paper scratching it seeing where i have to either manipulate it or cut it some more so you basically can do that now this is my trick okay you do not have to do this the heat gun is actually fine but i like to use this glue okay this super glue i only put it a little bit to the edges as you can see you do not need a lot okay so i'm just pressing this down to make sure that everything is going to be secure y'all have to remember i actually sell these balls to clients i can't have nobody saying that stuff lifting up so that's just why i use the super glue but you don't need it so as you can see i'm patting it down making sure that everything is melting in and i'm using the heat gun applying a little bit of heat not too much because you can put a tear in this kind of vinyl but yeah this is the glue that i'm using guys okay this glue ain't nothing to play with okay it's stronger than a toxic relationship on this fifth breakup in a year it ain't letting go of this ball okay okay so if you do decide to use this method with the super glue you only need a little bit to the edges and then a combination with that and the heat gun i'm telling you your project is going to stand the test of time okay now this is the reason why i was having issues with this ball you see how the basketball engravings you can see it through my vinyl i really didn't like that so don't ask me how i did this on um, miami slogan that y'all looking at like oh it's all pretty yeah baby that took time that's a whole nother video in itself but it's not hard to do okay now as you can see my ball is not perfect there are some imperfections um i'm not quite done yet i still have to go back in with the heat gun make sure everything is in there that the entire ball is covered but like i told you guys it's just gonna take patience and time and technique and you will definitely get there okay just don't excessively use the heat gun because you will mess around and melt the paper to the point where you're actually messing up your design but it's not a hard project and the basketballs are actually the best ones to do here's another ball i did this is a water polo ball actually but see how it has the same panels and structure as a volleyball and then i don't know what it is about the water polo balls but the material that it's made out of takes so much better to the heat it makes the ball so much easier to work with so that you can apply your designs and stuff so i actually really really enjoy making this ball and by the time you cover it up you're not going to tell whether it's a volleyball or a water polo ball because volleyballs don't really take that good to the heat like that but if you guys really just don't want to have to fight with those panels cricket and cutting out stuff you can order a custom ball kit from my website this was fun we should do it again sometimes thanks again for watching this video and i'll see you on my next video